this is Alex Ron and it's my first day on factory farm and we've had an exciting afternoon working on the CEV press and Martin's here and he's gonna do a drop test on one of our fresh bricks with a new patch of clay. Oh do it again, do it again. Well Martian the brick isn't breaking. No, it's gonna break right here. There we go. Yeah, no, that was soft there. That was great. Okay, so what would you like to say about this brick? It's got big clumps of uh, clods of clay instead of very little pieces. Mm -hmm. Plus there's a little bit of grass in there and makes it uh, doesn't bind together well. But it's good soil if we dig a little deeper. That's it. So we've been talking about uh, using this particular clay and drying it out and in uh, the area where we're at right now it's a little bit wet. So it's clumping together and we pulled a bunch of it up and we've been drying it out so that we can use a more powdery uh, clay type uh, dirt in the CEB press. Okay. Here are some before and after photos behind the greenhouse. A lot of track in action. We're scooping off the ground cover over the uh, clay area that we want to use to press bricks. So we're scooping up all the organic matter and the rest of the hummus that's Okay, here we tilled some soil and we're drying it out actually. It's a little too wet, so we're gonna have a sample here that we're gonna press with and see if we should keep digging here for a big pile of dirt. Here we have a disker, and it's an older disker. It's got a few missing pieces here and there. But uh, the main thing is, you can see we weighed it down with batteries. And what we're trying to do is crush up this clay. And as you can see, the clay is not getting crushed very small, but it is doing something. So Martian is rolling over it a few times to see what else he can get out of it. Keep trying different tools. This clay is really ideal for making our bricks, but we're having trouble getting it out of the ground. We're still out here working with the disker right now, and what we've done is changed the angle here. We've got the front disker and the back disker, and they're pointed forward and backward. And what we've done is adjust the angle of the back one to be even further back by pulling this armature forward, tying it off there. To see the We're getting a little bit better effect by breaking up the soil. It's, good. it's tough soil, as I mentioned before, but one of the things we're trying to do is get some air into it, dry it out. And as you can see, that is already happening by what we're doing right now. All right, here's the tractor graveyard. We've got uh, a bucket we're going to rob off of this here machine. Uh, I'll start by pulling these pins, disconnecting these hoses, pins, dropping it in pieces, and re rigging it. Alex Rollin, day two at Factory, and uh, today we're putting up a hexi yurt for additional housing. This is a finished hexi yurt here, and as you can see, it's got a door in it, and uh, there's a tent camped out inside. And over here, Martin is tenderizing the ground as we're getting ready to put in the outline of another one here. We'll level this ground after he's mixed it up a little. Okay, so this is uh, this is Alex's hexi yurt, and uh, we are doing our very best to uh, amend the soil and to figure out how to make it last as long as possible with uh, materials that we have imported to the site. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this fly ash that is on the ground now in order to stabilize the perimeter and we're going to hoe between the points where the, you know, we've got uh, seven foot four inch sides and we're going to hoe between them with the heavy hoe over here and we're going to mix the fly ash into the ground and then the rain is going to come down and harden it for us and that's basically a very simple method for stabilizing our foundation along the uh, perimeter without spending a lot of cash. Alright, here's Alex wrapping it up. Just 
Got a guide board. Sprinkles a little cementious ash, which will then be uh, lightly mixed, as you can see on some of these last ones. 